My name is Mick North. I'm the CEO and president of Anderson Global. I'm here today with Ben Flower, our engineering manager. And the subject we're talking about today is NX CAD models and the amount of detail embedded data that we put in. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Mick. As, as you said, use NX, it used to be called Unigraphics. It's very powerful software for us and, and helps us to utilize all of its capabilities for, for some gained efficiencies throughout the, the shop floor. As you can see, each one of these models is colored very specifically, which then corresponds to a color chart with tolerancing and fit and functions like that, that the rest of the shop can, can understand. As we roll it around, there's some additional information that we're able to put into the assemblies from the part name, part descriptions, materials, the vendors, the part names. So anytime any, anybody needs to understand what that part is, they can go into that and then they can understand and figure out what material it is, where you're getting it from, and, and then also correlate the color codes to the fit and functions of those. Right, so, so if, you, if a customer buys a, a design from us, uh, this is available to them. It's the it's the fully detailed out model that can be uh, used to build the, the tool. So you've got every small detail, spring, washer, nuts and bolts, thermal couple fittings, and all of the locators. We put everything, like basically this model inside of 3D is how I want it to leave the shop and be delivered to the customer. That way, there's no questions on the floor of what needs to happen. Um, I think also, so you in there, you embed a uh, parts list that uh, details out all of those, uh, those separate components, correct? Yeah, we create some special tools just based off of being able to extract that information. The, the button here, and it's going to go through and create a parts list inside of the, the space here. Now, you don't just get this unless you have NX, uh, obviously, but the color coding with the tolerancing things like that, that the information is still embedded into that. When we export files typically to customers, their parasolids, step files, that information does carry over so they're able to go through and evaluate that. Yeah, the, it's a, the customers bought this design. We, of course, are, are storing it for them and it's available. Uh, we can interrogate it at any time if there's any question, if they've got any manufacturing problems, if, if uh, they have their own capability, they can really dig into the model. Um, if they need us to take a look at some particular issue, we can do that because we've got this information. And it's okay. in detail and we built to the model. That's correct, yes. Down to even breaking the edges on, on the plates and in details like that. Sometimes when it gets out to our bench department uh, or rigging, we don't want them to accidentally roll the wrong edge also, right? So if you were to roll the edge on cavities, sometimes it's very obvious so that they know, but sometimes it's it's not so obvious. So having all of that detail just makes us more efficient from start to finish. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. So again, the, the model is the closest representation of the actual part. We're trying to avoid that kind of tribal knowledge uh, pattern maker knowledge that gets built into models that gets lost over time. Everything here is detailed in the model, built for the model. Correct. Okay, thanks, Ben. If uh, if anybody out there would like to know more, please reach out to us. Uh, you can find us at www.andersonglobal.com, uh, and we'd love to help you. Thanks. Thanks, Mick.